throwing on his headset uh, and he joins us now, one of the great drivers here. Seven years now coming to the Calgary Stampede. Uh, really drives clean. Is that is that something you're very proud about as a driver and that uh, many times you've gone through an entire season with without a penalty? I mean, it's, it's big for everybody, but that, that must be something you wear with pride. Yeah, it is. Uh, you know, we, th we all as drivers try to get through clean and, you know, the safety for our horses is number one and the safety for the drivers is number two and uh, you know our horses are like family to us so you know that that's a big part of this is being as clean and as safe as we can and you know you're going to take a barrel here or you know uh, people got to remember that you know we're one brain working with four other brains and uh, so it's a team and and that's why we call it chuck wagon racing it's a team sport there's five of us out there uh, to together trying to pull it together to do it eh? What's it like to be here and be part of the Calgary Stampede for you for you as a driver? Uh, it's huge, uh, not just for me, for the other 35 guys that actually get invited to Calgary. This is the Indy 500 for us, we call it. Uh, we got five shows coming into this one that, you know, we prepare our horses, condition them, uh, you know, trying to try to get our line up to, uh, as, as deep as we can coming to this show because you need a deep barn coming here. We run 10 days in a row. Um, some days, you know, the conditionings play a big part in it. Uh, if the track's heavy and muddy, you can't, you know, we don't run our same horses back. We'll oh, swap okay. some horses out the next night just because of the hard pull that night, you know, to let them freshen themselves back up for the mm -hmm. following night. So, Walk us through the strategy of that, John. So what are you, what barrel are you on tonight? Uh, tonight I go to barrel three. Okay. Uh, my team I've been running uh, that's been popping really hard for me, like last year and this year, they've backed off on me. My lead horse is, is kind of uh, throwing a wrench into things here with not starting hard and going straight up. He's, you know, he's lunging into the air and they can't pull a wagon when all four feet are up in the air. They, <laughs> no, they gotta it have doesn't work very well. They gotta have <laughs> some of them feet on the dirt, right? So, <laughs> so we're just trying to deal with that, trying to get him back settled in here. So, you know, we're gonna run him back tonight again, the right leader. Uh, he won the equine award here last year in Calgary for the best right leader. And he asked, uh, <coughs> excuse me, yeah, also won it for the World Professional Chuck Wagon Association for the best. So it went to his so. head, obviously. Ah, uh, yes, it did. Very <laughs> bad. <laughs> so we're trying to squeeze his head down a little bit here. And <laughs> come on, come back to earth here, buddy. <laughs> but you'll know. I mean, you're on the three barrel tonight, and it's a dry, uh, you know, dry track. So will you mix and match, or have you got four that will go from this one typically? Uh, no, we're going to pull the left leader off with him that we've had with him. Like the, 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 the lead team I got is. They're a very unique team. We usually have them apart and run new horses with them for the first part of the season. Then we just come to Pinocchio, Calgary, our two big shows. We throw that lead team back together, and they just usually pop for us. And this year, we started the year with them together, and I don't know if that's why they're kind of, you know, off a little bit on us or what. But uh, no, tonight, I'm going to throw a new horse out there on the left lead with them. And he's been in one race in Pinocchio. That was his first race. So we're going to put him out on the left lead off of barrel three with the, with the good righty. And hopefully they'll stand and fire out for us. Can we talk a bit about money? Because we talk about day money and how important it is to you guys as a team. But also the cost. How um, The money is so important to come into you because the cost of, of running these horses is phenomenal. Just yeah, buying one horse. How much would one horse cost? Uh, there's some sales coming up here. Uh, Rick Fraser selling out in, on Saturday, and Cliff Cunningham's done. He's selling out on Sunday. So I expect to see some, you know, anywhere from twenty to thirty thousand dollar horses uh, out of the sale, you know, and and. That's a sale. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wish you could see his that's face. That's not a good sale. <laughs> <laughs> we we've had other sales though, you know, in the in the past uh, with guys selling out where they were double that, right? But wow. you know, with the economy, the way it went with you know and stuff, it's yeah. it's affected how much we can afford to pay. And the guys who are in Calgary are definitely going to be buying some horses coming out of here to try and better themselves some. So. Yeah, I think you know, I think the boys will both do good on on a sell out here. And then you on the road, wh what kind of a you know what kind we were talking earlier? What kind of cost is that? Does that run for you? Uh, we're going on the road with just me and the wife with two units, so uh, uh, you know we got it's around ninety thousand dollars to hundred thousand dollars a year just to to do this sport. Uh, you know we got thirty horses to f thirty five head of horses. We go through every spring and training and Amazing. stuff and and pick out of there to bring our outfits to this our Indy five hundred show. So. Yeah, the costs are there with it. Uh, you know, Calgary is very important for us to make it here and, and, and get invited here. Uh, we need this one to help, help cover them expenses. Thanks for dropping by. I hope there's good pop on uh, Barrel 3 for you tonight. Thank you. Thank you for having me, and I'd just like to say uh, thank you very much to Shaw GMC for having us for the last two years and being part of our team, too. Uh, much appreciated, uh, Shaw. John Walters uh, thanking Shaw, and he'll be uh, going tonight to cheer him on when you see him.